Hello, everybody. It is I, Gran, right? I just say. Finishing something right here. something reviewed really quick. Okay. Hello everybody, it is I Grand Right and here we are back with another episode of Let's Play Assassin uh this is not Assassin's Creed Pokemon. We're playing Pokemon, not Assassin's Creed. Uh, and we are fighting lots of little traitors. Okay. Where are we? We are beating up on pokes. We're going to let Sableye just... Do these next couple fights. I think we're gonna display a repel, a spray, spray a repel. We have two more trainers on this little route, and then we're just gonna keep. Uh, we're gonna be working towards going getting to Lily Cove this episode. Oh, uh, what's well, Nightshade? So yeah, we're just going to keep pushing forward, see what we can get done. Hope everybody is doing well. Take out this Goldeen. And then Facade. We are excited that we got Shedinja's Shadow Ball at the end of last episode. That's definitely going to increase its uh, damage output because that is a very strong attack and it also has Stab. So that's awesome. Let's fake out. Let's fake out here and shockwave here. Just a second, I'm checking something. Queue up this next round of attacks while I'm checking. Keep pushing. 
get through these trainers. Alright, let's swap over to Mischievous. Psychic. Let's swap up Gengar. Sorry, of course, right when I start doing something, all the emails come flooding in. Let's Thunderbolt here and Psychic here. Excellent. Hopefully that's all resolved and we'll just power forward now. Alright, let's swap up. Oh, Mischievous leveled up. Never mind. We'll just keep uh, Gengar up front and take on the last couple trainers here and progress on to the next route with them. And then if we're ready, we'll swap Shedinja back up front to take out things that are not super effective against it. So that we don't get knocked out. Thunderbolt. Hope everybody is doing well on this Friday. Shouldn't have any difficulties here with any of these trainers coming up, which is nice. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. I don't really have much to talk about today. This team is pretty stacked at the moment. We're still waiting on a few moves with some Pokemon. But it's all just a matter of time now. Oh, 
hopefully we can make it all the way to Lily Cove this episode. I, I guess, you know, if I really wanted to, I could push past a little bit. We're not going to teach Sludge Bomb and Gengar. Even though that would be a good move for it. We're not doing physical attacks with Gengar. Definitely a special attacker. We taught it, like, Toxic or something. I don't even remember when we used it on the Poison playthrough. Well, we don't need to have a poison attack on this one. Just a ghost. We need to spray another repel. It's nice that the team is fully evolved, though, and that we're fully EV trained. So we just we just go. deal. Alright, let's swap Mischievous up here, and then we're going to swap Shedinja up here. Mischievous will take care of the Carvana for us. Double battle. It didn't stand in the right spot, but that item down there is just money. We don't need money. Good job. Our first Shadow Ball with Shedinja. Solid damage. Second verse, same as the first. Mr. Miss rocking 82 speed. Gengar's our fastest though with 109. But Shedinja's got our highest physical attack with 116. Gengar's got our highest special attack currently right now with 140. And Sableye's got our highest physical defense with 96. Uh, we'll just keep Mischievous up. Shockwave it as well. Very good.
Then we're going to see if uh, Shedinja can take out the rest of the trainers on this route. It's interesting to know that, you know, what we found out from this playthrough that we'll pretty much be able to finish Nikita's EV training out uh, prior to evolution because we still have to use it a few more times. This is a ghost playthrough. We still have to use Ninkata on a ground playthrough, Ninjask on a flying playthrough, Ninjask on a bug playthrough, and Shedinja on a bug play. We gotta we'll we'll be using it a lot. <laughs> Four more playthroughs with that, uh, with that poke. <laughs> Just a few more traders here. This is the last fight on this route. It's with a Meryl. We should be able to just blow it down, hopefully. All right, let's fly up the Rust Boro. We got a Pokemon power up we're going to grab, and then we'll go north and, um, how many of those do I have now? F4. We're going to use these on Mischievous' Psychic. That's it. Yep. All right. So we'll take on the trainers up here. We are going to swap Sableye up. See if we're lucky enough to get this double battle this time. We've hit it once. Otherwise, we've done them all individually. a hard one to, to time out there. We'll swap the Gengar for the Dodrio. Thunderbolt. going with a nightshade. We 
basically shouldn't have had any worries about what the um, Machop can do. We're going to swap over to Shedinja. And we will Aerial Ace. Very nice. Uh, we'll just keep Sableye and Mischievous up front for this next fight. We're going to fake out the Hariyama and Shockwave the Ninjask. Worked out great. All right, and then we're going to Nightshade and Confuse the Hariyama. Or not Confuse, Psychic. And Mischievous leveled up. Very good. Then we'll just drop another Psychic on this Gulfin, even though it MD Shed. The Psychic doesn't take it out, the Nightshade certainly will. Alright, let's swap up Shedinja. Final fight here. We're going to fake out the Metatite and Shadow Ball the Kadabra. Excellent. And there's Shedinja's level up to 39. Alright, let's facade there and aerial ace here. Good deal. I'll switch you there, and then I'm going to swap Gengar up front. We're gonna fly back to Fortree, heal up, start making our way out to the southwest, or southeast, sorry, towards the Livy Cove. Trova Trainer's here to take on. Get us a lot of good experience. Um, let's just Thunderbolt you. Thought you started out with the Whalemer, but I remembered it correctly. 
That's not nice. Gengar. Good deal. Alright, we're gonna just hop back here and heal off this paralysis. And I'll just speed walk over these boards. Rare candy up here. All right, we're going to target down the Magneton first. Double Nightshade. Be 76 damage on the nose. Donish. Well, I don't know if Facade would actually hurt Loudred. It might be... I don't know if that's a sound move. Didn't matter. Gengar took it out. Dream Eater. There it is. Yes, we're going to learn Dream Eater. We're going to learn that in place of Curse. And that is Gengar's entire move set completed. Let's go with feelings. Boring. The perfect clincher. <laughs> um, I'll swap you up here. For an upcoming devil battle. We're going to swap mischievous over. Me thinks. So then we got that infamous double battle against the um, cast form and um, main metric, but I don't think that they can hurt Shedinja. Maybe cast form can, and there's a lot of different type of attacks. Well, if we just target it down first, we shouldn't have any issues. Off we go. Another bird keeper here. It is now raining. Not that that's an effect any of our Pokemon. We can still note that it is raining. Shockwave. Mr. Viz has some pretty decent special attack, being that we didn't train it up a whole lot. Really, it is our special defender. We're going to be getting a um, Calm Mind later, so hopefully it can just be a special attack sponge sweeper. But we'll have to see how that goes. This is a double battle, and we always seem to have lost somebody in. Maybe we can avoid it this time. 
We're gonna target down the cast swarm first, because it for sure can hurt Shedinja. Well, it for sure has a chance to be able to hurt Shedinja. Not that it can. Word that properly. Shockwave Shadow Ball. Good damage. Well, that's not very nice. Thunder. I mean, it's going to hit for sure on Mischievous. Can't miss in the rain. Mischievous still took that really well. Not at all phased. Do I have a cherry berry? I do. I have a single cherry berry. out there an aerial ace here. Good deal. Not too worried about the Ninkata. Or not the Ninkata, I mean the Makuhita. Mafuhita knows knockoff, of course it does. Ah, sigh. Let's just go back and heal, since we're still not that far away from Ore Tree. Well, this trainer has a Sableye. We definitely have to have a Sableye fight. Let's try again. 
since it's trying to just detect past our attacks. Alright, now we finally have hurt this thing once. Alright, let's just keep... Sableye up is what I was going to say, and then I can't walk on the path. Figure out. Wow, full restore on a low tad. Interesting choice. Nightshade. The deadly nightshade. We'll swap the Shedinja here for this Nuzleaf and just see about Ariel acing it. Should be easy for Shedinja here, just the reverse fight of the one we did. It's got a seed out of Nuzleaf in the Lombre, so it just switched the low tad with the seed out. Also, we take him out with a single area aerial ace. Everything should be good. And there's level 40. We'll go to Gengar here.
again, I don't have much to talk about in this episode because we're just pushing through all these little trainers. If anybody here wants to talk about anything, feel free. Start up with any conversation. Otherwise, we're just going to keep pushing forward. Like I said, I'm planning on trying to get to Lily Cove this episode. And we're almost done with this route. We have three more trainers on this route. This guy with the Sir Skits, then we have the Ninja, then the Ruin Maniac. Then we get on to the last route before Lily Cove. It's got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fights on it. Should be easy enough for us to get there this episode. Only a couple of those fights are going to be difficult. Good job, Mr. Viss. Uh, we'll just keep you out to finish out this fight. Swap up Gengar. At this rate, you can you, we can tell we're going to definitely be over leveled for um, the next gem because everyone's now getting to level forty. We still have to go through the rest of the stuff to get to Lily Cove. Here, there is the route south of Mount Pyre. Then we have Mount Pyre. And then we have the Team Magma and Team Aqua base, and then the route over to Moss Deep with its few trainers. So we're definitely going to be over level 42 by the time we get there. Missed. 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 There we go. Just wanted to hit one Hypnosis, Gengar. Yes, there goes our accuracy, because we already got hit by a smoke bomb from the coughing. Excellent. Just going to spray a repel really quick. We have changed from rain to sandstorm. It's got two turns of it done. We'll see what else happens here. It's definitely going to up the evasion of the Sandro and Sandlash, which is going to be a pain. But it is what it is. Come on. It 
should not be this hard to hit. Okay, well now your accuracy is nothing. Get out of here. One hypnosis. Thank you. <laughs> we'll just get sand attacked a lot. It'll be fine. Good deal. Alright, Sableye and Gengar for this fight. Dust Skull and Dust Ox. Nice. One of the two level ups. Gengar. First it was the accuracy drops, and now it's... Oh, wonderful. Um, I just want you to die. Thank you. Gengar did a great job of hitting itself still in the face. So we didn't give any experience to that Mew. Twenty-nine damage back. Tracker. We'll just keep Gengar up, methinks. Bunch of health back though here, eating this Viper's dreams.
probably not a good idea to use Shedinja here, because I'm pretty sure that, um... Slacking those faint attack, just like Norman's dead. Well, the spend is down, so we're not going to get confused, so that's good. Use Yawn, okay. Sleep is good. We are also going to be asleep. Solid damage. Alright, let's swap Shedinja up. Uh, let's use a Chesto Berry on Mischievous. We do these individually to get all the experience that we can. I guess I could have fought them together. We didn't really need this little smidgen of experience, but whatever. Good job, Shedinja. Get it, get it. Easy peasy fight. Shedinja not even worried. breeder here. This will hopefully get Shedinja up to level 40, but I guess we'll see. Goodbye. Strong enough to take out a number with an aerial ace. Look at that. Easy peasy. Should be able to take out this Tropius with an aerial ace. 
15 levels lower than us. Look at that, Shinja's already 41. Sod. And facade. We need to give a berry over to Gengar. No, that's not who I wanted to give it to. All right, we need to get that one off of Mew. There's two, what, two electric trainers here. This guy's got a Manetric. Next one's got a Pikachu. And then we do the double battle, and we're at Lily Cove. Assuming we get the double battle as a double battle, which would be ideal. Nope. There we go. Just wanted to put it to sleep. Swap up Sableye. Just that's some Pikachu. Good fake out. Just need to get in between them and then you run and then they will automatically look and stay looking where you are because you ran <sighs> Maynetric and Loudred. let's take out the main metric first if we can Don't want it thunder waving everybody because that's just annoying. All right, good deal. I don't know if we should be worried about shift tree. My gut says no. But it's going to be a pain in the butt to take out because we can't use Psychic on it. Mischievous just is not going to deal a lot of damage to it. It's going to be all on Sableye, really. Looks like it should be able to take it out with one more Nightshade. So we'll let Mistress focus on Loudrin. They're going to heal it. Uh, 
because they always do when they're cool trainers, because that's the cool thing to do. Nice. Alright, well, we're not going to kill it this turn. That's annoying. Alright, we're going to heal up and we're going to end this episode here. We do hope you all enjoyed the episode. We'll be back next week with more Pokemon. Until then, We'll see you next time.